Hello, my name is Neville and I'm going to take you through a road test and a rundown of the Kopmoto CF150 leader. I'm going to take you through the bike, how it runs, how it performs, different places I've gone and uh, a really good road test. I've had my license for most of my life but for the last 10 years I haven't had a motorbike and I decided to get a little motorbike again because of the cost of living and I'm on the pension and I needed something to run around on that was reliable, trustworthy and had enough power to get me around uh, town and out in the bush, out of town a little bit sometimes as well. So I researched the motorbikes and I decided to look into this one more than any of the others because of things that I had heard about it. People told me to stay away from Chinese motorbikes, but I wanted to do the research myself and to see how they performed and how they went. And I come up with this particular one. They've been motor making motorbikes for quite a few years. The Chinese actually have been making bikes for quite a long time, and they have more motorbikes on the road than any other country in the world. So they've got to learn something from that, and they're getting much better at the quality control on their motorbikes and, and different things in their country. Now I wanted, didn't want a motor scooter, I wanted something that looked like a motorbike and this does look like a motorbike. And when I took it for a test ride I was quite impressed with what it could do and how it handled. So I eventually bought one and I'm going to take you through the different experiences I had with it and, and, and what I've done with it. Uh, I bought this motorbike in Newcastle and uh, the, the dealers in Newcastle that sell this particular motorbike, Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia, are uh, very friendly and very helpful. It's under warranty for two years, so if you're only a learner, that's a good period of time uh, to have a motorbike. Generally after two years as a learner, uh, you get your, uh, uh, your P's, you come off your P's and you want a bigger bike. This is a good one to start with. And as a man in my 60s, I've got to say I'm impressed with what it can do for me to get me around town and get the job done. So I'll just take you through some of the uh, things that this bike can do. Uh, there'll be some short videos for you to watch. Um, I hope you enjoy and do your own research and look into this bike for yourself because you will be impressed. Um, I, I also uh, take my dog out on it. It's set up uh, to take a dog um, who is my friend and I take him places with me too. So I hope you enjoy uh, this commentary and the videos that are to follow. Thank you. Welcome to the CF 150 leader motorcycle. Just give you a little bit of a rundown of this marvellous little motorcycle. As you can see, I got my dog in the back. I'll just explain this to you first. That's his little container. And I'll show you inside later. He's got a little safety belt. He has a blanket and a mattress in there. And he can't jump out, but he quite enjoys being in there. This is the first motorcycle I've had in quite a number of years and uh, it's actually one of the smallest I've ever had. Um, I've been off motorbikes for about 12 years. I decided to get back on one because it's economical. I'm now on the pension and I need something that I can afford to ride and I researched all the little motorcycles and this one come up with the best specs and I took it for a test ride and I was impressed with the way it handled the road and the way it looked. It looked like a motorcycle. It looked like uh, one of the old classic ones that I used to have many years ago, going back in the 60s. Um, this is quite an impressive little machine. And I'll just give you a quick rundown of some of the things on it. This is the, the dash and the speedo, as you can see. It's quite impressive. It's got front disc brakes and uh, they're quite good. 
I was impressed with the handling. Um, the speed is not all that crash hot, but I've had it up to 90, and uh, it just seemed to cruise better on 80, 85. Uh, that's not too bad around the city. You don't need to go much faster than 90 anyhow, but I believe it can get up to 105, uh, and that's good because I intend to do a few little trips on it uh, away down in the bushland around the area, about 60, 70 k's away. Uh, I might even attempt a trip to Sydney because I'm in Newcastle. Um, and I think it'll handle that if I go down on the old Pacific Highway. As you can see, it's very impressive looking. And I've got to tell you that it really does handle well. It's water cooled. There's the water cooling system there. It's very good. The seat is very comfortable to ride on. I've actually travelled about 35 kilometres so far on it in one hit and uh, it's got a, a large tank. It's very economical on fuel. Last time I filled it up it cost me $16. I run it on the top fuel, um, the 98, and uh, it runs very well on that. One of the things that I like about it is it shows you what gear you're in, it's got a fuel gauge, it's got a reserve tank. The only thing that was that I found that was uh, I didn't like about it was the mirrors. They weren't quite long enough, but that was easily solved. I bought this extension here that gave me more of a view out the back and uh, covered some of them blind spots. And I can also see Smokey in the back while I'm riding. Um, and he really loves going out. People look at him everywhere he goes. We're at Catherine Hill Bay for part three of our documentary video for the CF-150. This trip that we're doing today will be about 75 to 80 kilometres and this is the first stop on the journey. And Smokey's quite enjoying himself and the motorcycle is handling it very well. We've gone down a highway where the speed limit is 100 kilometres an hour and we got up to 95. I didn't push it any further. I could have, but I didn't. And it handled it quite well. Uh, and uh, I was quite happy with the performance and the way it hung on to the road. Here we are down at Moray's Beach on our little journey for the day. Smokey's met a new friend. Hello. And she's patting him and she likes dogs very much. Yes. Who <laughs> now on Lake Macquarie down near Swansea. You can see Swansea in the distance. I come down a dirt road just over a kilometre long. The road was pretty rough and pretty dirty and dusty, but the mitre cycle handled it excellent, very well. I was impressed. Well, hello again. I'm introducing now part four of the CF-150 leader. And just to let you know a few other little things about it. Uh, as you can see down there, there are two beepers. The black one I put on there for the blinkers because occasionally I forget to turn them off and that gives me a, a little warning signal that I still I have left them on. The white beeper I thought was a blinker beeper but when I tracked it down no one seemed to know anything about it. When I tracked it down it turned out to be a temperature beeper for the radiator and it only goes off when uh, the radiator gets overheated which I hope never happens and hasn't happened yet. The bike is broke in now and uh, still running very very well. I haven't had any real problems with it yet but except for one minor problem. As you can see down here I have put this on the exhaust pipe. 
Why I did that was because I burnt two pairs of trousers that cost me about $80. So I thought it was worth investing the $40 to put this on. And uh, it does work, and I've protected my trousers. What they do is they, when you're riding along, your trousers can go up against there and scorch and put a hole in them. So it saved me a bit of money by putting that on there. The only other problem that I'm finding that uh, will be taken care of when the tyres wear down, not that they're bad tyres, they are good tyres, but I prefer a little bit better grip and I intend to put some wider tyres on it. Um, the, the, as I said, the bike has broken in now and um, as you can see, It's done a few kilometres. Uh, I tend to go away on a trip shortly down to Wollombi, which is about 160 kilometres there and back, and the speed limit is up to 100. And down at Wollombi in New South Wales, Australia, uh, there are a lot of Aboriginal cave paintings and rock carvings, and I want to track through there. And I'll probably even camp out overnight by taking a tent and a few things with me on the bike, as well as Smokey, my little companion and friend down there. Thank you. This is just a little ride we're going on up near Dudley. We're heading off into Charlestown, Newcastle. Smokey's quite enjoying himself as he's looking around. We just come back from a little walk down there towards the water. I'm on my CF150 again, I'm just going for a ride. My friend's taking a video on the back to give you a performance of how it goes on the open road. And we're leaving now and we're going to go out the driveway and you'll see me going out. Stop, I'm going to stop.